far it's a little hectic, but we recently got a package. What is it, March? It is, it's hectic, it's chaotic, right? That's the whole, c'est la vie, that's life. But it is, um, yes, it is March, and we've got a new sack from Six Sense. I'm gonna bust right through this so you can see what's going down and y'all can see what I've been up to a lot right now. And first impressions. How are you? All right, we got some Green Pumpkin Burst Stroker Craw. It's March. It's that time of year. They are gonna get thrown and usually six cents. There we go. Bam, look at that. Some stout wide gap hooks. These are in the four aught size. So, I mean, right out of the gate, like stuff that I'm using right now. Super rad, absolutely love it. Another little soft plastic. This says lead worm weight. No doubt, dude. Literally, you got your plastic, your hook, your weight, and these say right on them, quarter ounce. That's it, they are lead. So, freaking rad. All right, then, Dude, I love, oh my God, I love these. And this is in the uh, chrome thread fin. So, you know, if your fishery has thread fin shad, there you go. So this is like a hybrid speed crank. It's called Speed Glide. Um, it is a two piece, so, is it a glide bait? I don't know, it's not a glide bait. But uh, basically I run this like a, uh, run this kind of like a jerk bait. You know, you, you rip it through and pause, rip it through and pause. Uh, really, really easy to control depth. It's, uh, I'd say it's about five, six inches and uh, seven, eight ounce. And that size, by the way, that's like, if you do nose to end of the trailer tail, just so we're clear. Um, so seven, eight ounce and uh, what does it say? 100 millimeters, there we go. But uh, that's in the thread fin shad, chrome thread fin. Yeah, I'm super stoked on those. And of course, springtime, right? We've got to have some bow crawfish. That's the Crush Mini 25 MD. So this MD, uh, if you need to downsize, right? If, I don't know, for whatever reason, your bait's a little bit too big and you need to downsize, but you still need something to get down to that five, six foot level. Um, the Crush Mini 25 MD, that's in a boil craw. I do have a couple of these. I have caught fish on them. So that'll definitely be going in the day box, which is my, like, use it all the time stuff. Heck yeah. Then, look at that beauty. Dude, this is a pond killer right here, I will tell you. Um, this is the Quake 80 Suspending. This one is in royal chrome. It's got chrome with like a beautiful purple on top. Of course, those eyes that are looking down. Um, but uh, yeah, so big old rattle trap, Quake 80 Suspending. That's in the Royal Chrome, and that's a that's a pond killer. Like golf course ponds and all that jazz, especially if you're like out in Florida or uh, you hop fences, whatever you do. I'm definitely not telling you to do anything illegal, but what I am saying is that the Quake 80 suspending rattle trap, the Quake 80 suspending, I guess they don't call it rattle trap, but you know what this is. You know how to throw it, and and this absolutely smashes them in ponds. And it's pretty cool too, because you got vegetation and whatnot that goes over the top. Anyhow, can't say enough good things. I have definitely caught a lot of fish on this. Um, going in the day box. And if you haven't seen some of my previous videos, this right here, the Axis Metal 2.0. Um, haven't had a lot of action on it because I don't throw it all the time. So like anything else, right? If you throw a Texas rig worm 99% of the time, to you a Texas rig worm is the deal. Cause that's what you throw 99% of the time. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna start working this, excuse me, I'm gonna start working this more into uh, into my repertoire because it's, it's super erratic. You know, people always tell you like, oh, throw something they haven't seen. There's no, there's no crankbait like the Axis Metal 2.0, um, the way that it moves. It deflects pretty good, usually because it's, it's not hitting stuff head on. It's like smashing into the side of it. I mean, if you've never seen these, I don't know how to do an underwater test, but I'm sure there's some way better YouTube channels out there that have that. 
Um, this is in the chartreuse black back, so awesome, classic color. This thing is a half ounce lure, and that right there is your March six set from Six Cents. If you like that stuff, I don't have a freaking code for you, but there's plenty of people that do, and uh, I think it makes your first bag super cheap. I've been getting these for, I don't know, for months now, and pretty much throwing most of the things. There were some like tiny little random things one time, uh, which is probably great for guys up north, or I don't know, like really light tackle guys, and um, that's just not what I'm doing right now. So uh, I would say 99% of the stuff that I got is keeping me keeping me happy and uh, I'll look forward to next month's sack so if you're a subscriber let me know down in the comments let me know if you like this video if you like the quick run throughs versus like the break it down pull them out of a little container every single time I don't know I don't know if you haven't figured it out I don't know what I'm doing with all this other than I'm going on an adventure and I'm taking you with me so hit that subscribe button and until next time hope you're doing well hope you're staying rad that's all I got. That's it. it was just to say that about wraps it up. That's it. That's all I got. All right. Go on. Go fish. All right. Later. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah.